Well, good day, Glav here. Welcome back and thanks for checking back in. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like this video, hit the bell button and the like button as well, eh? So what's the purpose of this video? Well, those of you close to me know I like tarting my bikes up, but that's not the real purpose. What happened was, you know I love this Indian Challenger. It's a beautiful bike. It goes hard, too as well, and I do a lot of kilometres. So I thought I'd better might think about going to get this thing vinyl wrapped to protect the black metallic paint on it, because it's really nice. And I ummed and ahed and ginned about as I normally do. And then what happened, I thought, you know what, I like my bikes being pretty special. Um, so instead of getting them clear vinyl wrapped, why don't I get the colours I love and think about getting a colour wrapped. And let's see if we can make this bike look a bit custom and a bit trick. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy how it turned out. I'm down at the Upgrade Studio at Stapleton. I've just come back off that 3,000 kilometre ride. The bike has not been washed. The Indian has not been washed. And in three days' time, we're going to see a reformed beast. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is at this stage. Um, we'll make that a surprise at the end of the video. And as you can see here, Upgrade Studio in Brisbane, in, well, just outside of Brisbane. I'll put the number, telephone number at the end. But I can't wait to see what this Indian looks like in three days' time. I'll just walk you around the bike just to show you what it is now. And we'll do the same. And look how bloody dirty it is. But hey, three days' time. And that's Sander over there. He's going to be the magician on this thing. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll see how it cracks. So three days ago, we had this bike in here. It was fully black, so this time, as you can see, it has a little bit of flavor on top. We added candy apple red, actually the real name is Luscious Lips. Unlike certain parts, we try to follow the body lines, what bike already has, because this bike has really nice soft lines. And we wanted to a little bit amplify those. So, we got free hands with design, I'm really happy with this one. So, and as I can see, <laughs> he, he likes it, so I'm really happy about that. So. Everywhere, as you can see, we followed the red through. When you look at it from the side, this line, this chrome line, runs with the tank and into the coffin. So, everything what we did here is to work together with bike lines. And this little red itself is cool already, but this bike has so much chrome and we wanted to keep the same line. So, we took a little piece of, a uh, little strip of uh, chrome and added chrome on the lines just to make the design all come together. So I've uh, had a couple of runs on the bike since it's had the uh, vinyl done. Um, as you notice, I have a penchant for candy apple red. You see my Harley in Thailand, it's got a chrome red on it. Um, this, I've uh, got to say, this vinyl wash is real easy. The shit comes off it, probably easier than the paint actually. And it also gives protection at the same time. So I'll do a quick video walk around. Um, beautiful line that leads through the tank and onto the back bags. Same with the um, same with the front guard. The way the red peters out to nothing at the back, uh, and the chrome stripe through it. Once again, the tank starts thick at the front and obviously peters out at the back uh, with the chrome stripe. And then the bags themselves. We looked at putting more red on. I wanted red on the front here. For on the front of the bags for protection but actually it didn't look any good so what they did is they put um, clear on that so to protect the bags because I do a lot of kilometres, I do a lot of touring, a lot of riding and I get a lot of rocks uh, hitting the bike in outback areas so that's why I wanted the vinyl. Overall so far I'm extremely happy with this. I think the um, Frankly, I think the bike looks friggin' hot and the contrast with this is just gorgeous. Um, this is one cool looking bike, but of course it's my bike, so I'm, I'm tainted, it's my opinion. But 
There you go. Happy days. I'm happy.